Jason Fuck Outdoors, and I was recently tagged here on YouTube by Mark over at Spagiver Backpacking, check out his channel, about luxury gear confessions. So for this, a lot of the people that have been tagged in these videos so far are all guys in the middle of the U.S. and East Coast, so I gotta represent the West Coast here, and I'm gonna go over three luxury backpacking items that I bring out on the trail with me. Well, let's get to those luxury items. Got these right here. Some great backpacking gear. Just kidding guys. This is the only thing I've got out here in the backyard. A mallet, rubber mallet to post it, or pound in some steaks. This, ah, I don't know how old this is. It's a, uh, what is a, uh, gosh, I don't even know. A winged wheel number 400 lantern. Gosh, this thing's older than me. I don't even know how it's back here. Well, let's get to the real uh, luxury items. Well, you guys have seen this in a lot of my videos, my Garmin Epix watch. I wouldn't consider it a luxury item per se just because it's a watch. I carry it on my wrist a lot on almost all my hikes. But what I pair with it is a luxury item. That's this right here, the Garmin Tempe. And with my Tempe, I bring along a fire beaner and just connect it to the back of my pack. If I need to, I can create some sparks with that. And, a, and so, you know, it's a backup fire starter. But it's really this piece I'm bringing along. The Tempe, it pairs up with my Garmin watch, tells me the temperature out there. It's just a little luxury item I like to know. Sometimes uh, we wake up in the morning and everybody asks, well, what was the temperature outside last night? Well, with the Tempe, it's got a max and a low, so I can tell exactly how hot it was for the last 24 hours and how cold it got for the last 24 hours. We've had it up on Baldy when it got down, gosh, was it in the teens? Or was it single digits? I can't remember now. And then uh, Dry Lake used it up there. I know it got down to about 16 there. I think Baldy was six degrees. It's pretty darn accurate though. As long as I've got it on the back of my pack or when I'm camping, I'll put it on my tent. So if I'm using my winter solo at the very edge, I can actually just clip this on. This hangs down throughout the night. It's not touching the ground. It's not touching anything. It's just perfectly hung like that. For my second luxury item, it's going to be this right here. It is my Leatherman Skeletool. Um, I bring this along almost on every trip. It's usually in one of my uh, hip belt pockets. It's got the pliers if I need them. It's Espe especially useful for fishing in the backcountry. Uh, it's also got this right here. If I want to, I can pull this out. I've got a little screwdriver if I need to. I don't think I've ever used that in the backcountry though. I've used this bottle opener quite a few times. And it's got a pretty sharp knife here, which I've used actually in the backcountry quite a few times to clean trout, uh, just chop up some meals, but it's not the lightest uh, Leatherman out there. I could just, I could probably do with something smaller, like it was the smaller Gerbers or the smaller Leathermans. They're just a small plier and knife, but this does the job out there. I'm pretty happy with it. I could, like I said, I could bring a smaller lightweight knife, probably shed quite a few ounces off of this, but for me, a luxury item that I like and it feels good in the hand too especially when the knife is there it's locks it feels pretty good so that's my second luxury item my third luxury item is actually cook set so most of the time I bring the jet boil my jet boil it's a titanium one super lightweight boils water quick but if you guys watch my videos which most of you do because you're subscribed to me and you're watching now you realize that we like to eat good in the back country so my next luxury item here, right here, the MSR uh, Flex Skillet. This is a ceramic one. Nothing really sticks to this thing. I usually pair it with a little deep power stove. Uh, I've got some other stoves I've used with it. But this stove right here has got a great base. But this right here, we bring out so much good food. Uh, Cooper Canyon, I was cooking up uh, hash browns, sausage and eggs in this. Um, we've been in Panamint City where Monica used this and made some, gosh, it was an amazing meal with some eggs and some tomatoes and everything. I can't remember what it's called. It was damn good. Um, we fried fish up in this. It's great to have. We love that you get in the back country. So I've got to keep this challenge going and got to call out three people for this challenge. So before I tag them though, just be sure that you actually subscribe to these guys' channels. There's three of them, three great guys, three great channels. So let's get to them. First one is going to be Robert in five more minutes. I've tagged Robert in a challenge before. I know he'll, he'll be game for this and he's got a great channel. 
Let's give him some more subs, guys. Get him up there. The second person I'm tagging is going to be my buddy Steve, Tuba Solo. You guys have seen his videos as well. Um, great guy. Some good videos. He's a, he loves to do gear reviews. Check out his gear reviews. They're pretty comprehensive. Steve does his research, and it pays off for all of us. Third is going to be Edward Shin. He has some amazing winter campout videos. He just did one up, um, up north where him and I believe there's his girlfriend out there and they brought their dog along and they were out there hammock camping in the snow, had a little fire going. He does some great winter camp out videos. Check him out as well. So Robert, Steve, Edward, you guys have been tagged. Let's see your guys' luxury gear items. Check out the people I tagged and also check out Mark's uh, channel, MacGyver Backpacking, as he tagged me. All the links are gonna be below. Thanks for watching guys. If you do like this, give it a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, subscribe, not just to me, but those other uh, four channels out there. And thanks for watching, guys. Until next time, we'll see you on the next adventure.